Hello my friends, welcome back to Keto in the Chaos. My name is Tammy and on this channel I like to share all of my tips and tricks on how I lost 207 pounds without surgery and how you can be successful on your own weight loss journey. So if that's what you're looking for, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for more videos like this one to inspire you to get started. <music> Alrighty guys, welcome back. Um, in this video, I like to show everything that I ate in the week. I also sometimes put a little bit of a vloggy type style of clips in here so that you guys can kind of see how my week goes. But I will preface this by saying I am no longer in a weight loss journey. I am currently in the middle of a reverse diet. I am slowly raising up my calories in order to try and find my maintenance level. So far, I have made it all the way up to 1771 calories and I have not found maintenance yet. It has been 11 weeks of this very long reverse diet, but I'm finally to a place where I feel like I'm eating enough food and I don't feel, I don't feel like I'm starving. But guess what? I'm still losing weight. So I haven't been able to find my maintenance yet. So I'm still eking my calories up a little bit. So in this video, you're going to see everything that I ate an average of 1771 calories for the week. The very first um, day was uh, one of my higher calorie days. It was a 1900 calorie day. Then my goal was to have five 1700 calorie days. I didn't quite work that out, work that out. They're all kind of over, all over the place. One was really low. One was kind of high-ish. Anyway, they're all over the place. So don't use my actual macros and what I ate to determine what you should do. Definitely you should find your own ways, but I hope that this video will give you some ideas on what you can do when you are trying to get, you'll find your maintenance and look for meals that are healthy and fun to eat after you have finished losing weight on a keto way of eating. Keep in mind, I am no longer in ketosis. I have added a certain amount of carbohydrates into my diet in order to maintain my electrolytes and to just feel like I am a little bit more satiated. I thought that it was going to make me super hungry. I thought that it was going to, that it was going to make me gain a lot of weight and it has actually done the opposite. So I've been really, really super grateful and I am still keeping them in. This is my fourth week, I believe, eating carbs. It could be fifth. I'm not sure. Um, but I am, it's now just normal. It's now just part of my diet and I hope that you guys aren't triggered by any of that. So if you are, don't, don't watch these, go to the keto cut videos and watch those. There's millions of them. There's millions of how to lose weight on keto on this video, on this channel. I've got like, well, they're not millions. I've got like 600 videos on this channel, but anyway, too much. Let's get to the food. <laughs> Happy Sunday, everyone. It is about 12.15 in the afternoon and I am about to have my first meal of the day. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna have. This morning I am having a cup of Creo Brew with a little bit of Premier Caramel Protein Shake in it. I'm also gonna drink this whole rest of this shake. Then I'm having two eggs, 33 grams of center cut bacon and 100 grams of fresh apples off my tree. And that is gonna be my first meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it is three o'clock on Sunday. I am starving today. I don't know if I just didn't eat enough with my first meal. I guess I didn't have as much as I normally have like, cause I ate a shake instead of like eating food. I don't know, but hungry. So I am gonna go ahead and eat cause I don't like to wait too long if I get hungry. And I'm gonna be eating dinner, I don't know, probably sooner than I planned to originally. Anyway, what does that matter? <laughs> I am starting off with another cup of Creo Brew. Just trying to fill myself up with some liquid courage and I'm trying not to have a second bang um, on the weekends. And then I am having my protein sludge. This is 300 grams of yogurt, 25 grams of Quest vanilla sh shake powder, um, 10 grams of cocoa powder, some swerve powdered swerve some liquid stevia and a little bit of vanilla and I, and some almond milk and i just mix that up and then i put 20 grams of spray whipped cream the sugar-free brand sugar-free from walmart great value brand and then i am also having a german chocolate cake built bar and that's going to be my second meal of the day Hey guys, it is Sunday night and I am having my last meal of the day. I'm having three little tacos. These are three corn tortillas, six ounces of 90-10 ground beef, 45 grams of, of sour cream, 30 grams of cheese, three tablespoons of salsa, and 30 grams of avocado. I think that's everything. And some lettuce. And that is going to be my last meal of the day. everyone 
it is 11.30 in the morning and I'm about to have my first meal of the day. I keep trying really hard to push it earlier and it just doesn't go any earlier. This is as early as it gets. I'm gonna show you. So today I am having blueberry lemon cream cheese waffles, chaffles, however you wanna say it. These made, these chaffles are made with two eggs, um, a little bit of sweetener, cinnamon, vanilla, and then 60 grams, so I put 10 grams on each side of each chaffle, so 20, 60 grams total of mozzarella cheese, and then 27 grams of center cut bacon and three sugar-free jellos, and that's gonna be my first meal of the day. Hey everyone, it is Monday afternoon. That's my daughter Eloise, say hi. We are at the dance studio. They're getting ready to go to class and I'm just sitting in the car. So I'm about to eat and I am hungry. It has been a long time since I ate. I usually eat later and so I'm not used to eating that many hours away, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna show you my plan for this afternoon. Now in the video earlier today, I did a live for um, Perfect Keto Cookies. If you haven't gotten yours, this video is probably too late for the sale, but you should still go get them because they're awesome, snickerdoodles. So I ate one of those. So I guess I did eat that. And now I'm gonna finish the other cookie instead of a built Bar today, which will mean that my protein is lower and my fats are higher for today than I would like, but it was worth it because they're really, really good. And I'm probably gonna have to work those in somehow. Um, I'm also gonna have three sugar-free Jellos. One, two, three. A bang and my protein yogurt which is today 300 grams of yogurt 25 grams of quest powder um, the cocoa and then 24 grams of spray whipped cream on top and that is gonna be my second meal of the day oh my goodness you guys got home from dance it has been a day I haven't even recorded half the stuff I've done today I'm in another step challenge with Sarah so I decided I was gonna try and make an effort I think I walked about 90 something minutes I don't know a lot of that was running I got a lot of high heart rate minutes and I got over 10,000 steps and she's still 2,000 steps ahead of me it's like I can't even anyway whatever and I also did my chicken bucket workout but I didn't record it and my dance class, so yeah. Anyway, it is 10 o'clock, 10, and I'm just barely eating my dinner. And this is where all my carbs are coming in, so be prepared, here comes a carby meal. You guys are gonna be jealous, but it's gonna be good. I am having a burger and corn on the cob. I am not having fries because calories, but I am having two pieces of gluten-free bread, one piece of cheddar cheese, 10 grams of onions, 10, uh, 20 grams of tomato, 10 grams of um, lettuce, 10 grams of pickles, 6 grams of mayonnaise, an 85-15 patty, and a corn on the cob with 5 grams of butter. I cannot wait to eat this because yum. And that is going to be my last meal of the day. Oh man, that hamburger was amazing and the corn, mm, so good. In fact, I think corn on the cob is probably the only carb that I have eaten that I'm just like, this is amazing. So far, but I'm still kind of craving some protein. My protein was pretty low today. It's only 130 something or 127. And so I decided I'm just going to eke out a few more calories. It looks like it's not going to put my average up too badly. So I am going to go ahead and have a mini built bite. Just get myself a little 10 more grams of protein in and um, just kind of, I just feel like I want a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm adding this to my last meal of the day. All right, everyone, it is 12.45 on Tuesday. Uh, I hate it when I can't eat earlier. I keep trying, but just sometimes it doesn't happen. I hope you enjoyed the live chat today. Anyway, I am starting off, of course, with some Creo Brew with sweetener and caramel protein shake inside. And then I am having this. So I am having a keto custard banana split style. The only thing I don't have on here is chocolate. So I have a banana premier protein shake mixed with two eggs that I microwave for four minutes in the microwave. And then on top, I have 100 grams of strawberries, a little bit of powdered swerve, 24 grams of sugar-free whipped cream, and eight grams of slivered almonds. Then I'm also having 33 grams of center cut bacon and 40 grams of oatmeal. This has some uh, granular swerve in it, and that's oat almond milk that I just poured over the top that I'm gonna mix in. And that is gonna be my first meal of the day. All right, it is 4.45 on Tuesday. I am at home because we're doing dance on Zoom today. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna have for my second meal of the day. 
Today I am having protein yogurt sludge. Basically today it's the same as other days. 275 grams of 0% Faye Greek yogurt, 20 grams of Quest powder, some sweetener, some cocoa, um, salt, vanilla, almond milk to make it smooth. And then on top I'm having, today I'm having mint chocolate chips. I probably will prefer the heavy cream, but I don't know, I'm trying it. So 14 grams of Lily's mint chocolate chips. Then I'm having three sugar-free jellos, a German chocolate built bar, and a bang. And that is gonna be my second meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's about 10 o'clock and I just finished up my exercise for the day, my clogging and catching those chickens and stuff. Probably saw that in the, in the weigh-in video or whatever. Um, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna have for my last meal of the day. So tonight I am having pumpkin. So I have 200 grams of fresh pumpkin topped with gravy that is made out of 90 10 ground beef, six ounces. And I have 60 grams of mushrooms, 80 grams of green peas, 40 grams of onion. And I think that's it that I'm gonna have. And that's gonna be my last meal of the day. and I'm about to have my first meal. I am having a vanilla cinnamon keto custard, which is just basically a vanilla premier protein shake with two eggs, some vanilla, some salt, some sweetener, and some cinnamon on top, and 33 grams of center cut bacon. And that is all I'm having for my first meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it is a cold and snowy day. I was gonna go walking to get some steps in, but I don't think I'm going to. It's just so cold and yucky. So I am gonna sit here and have my snack though, and I've got three sugar-free Jellos and a mint Bilt Bar. Hey, bang! And my sledge today is lemon. So what I put in here was the 275 grams of 0% Faye Greek yogurt and the 20 grams of Quest Vanilla powder because that's what I've got don't have any other flavors and then I put in two squirts of Mio of lemonade Mio um, if you're looking for that water enhancer there's an affiliate link in the about section for Amazon for those um, and then I put in some real lemon juice and I think that's it oh and a little vanilla just to kind of give it a little vanilla flavor then I put a 25 grams of sugar-free whipped cream on top and it's like lemon custard pie oh my heck yeah awesome and I think that's it. Yeah, so that is going to be my second meal of the day. And it is 4.16 p.m. All right, my friends. I just got home from the dance studio. Had to go chase the chickens again. I'm not going to make you endure that again. But let's just suffice it to say I got another 1,500 steps. So um, I am having kid food tonight. So I am having 160 grams of gluten-free chicken nuggets with some sugar-free barbecue sauce and a roasted corn ear of corn with five grams of butter, a package of Quest protein chips, and a built bar bite. And that is going to be my last meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it is super late on Thursday. We had our school stuff this morning and I haven't been able to keep my, I haven't even had a shower. A shower. I probably won't even get a shower today. Did, wait, maybe, did I have a shower? Did I take a shower? I can't remember. Anyway, I am having Creo Brew with a Stevia and Premier Protein Shake. The caramel is my favorite. Hmm. And I am having 44 grams of center cut bacon, two fresh fried eggs, 125 grams of strawberries with swerve on top, and 40 grams of oatmeal. I didn't put almond milk in it this time. I think I'm just going to mix the strawberries in it. And that is going to be my first meal of the day. All right, guys, here we are at the dance studio. And no, I still have not washed the dead mascara off my face. Good grief, this day. Three jellos. Uh, I'm dropping them. A mint built bar. And my sludge today is lemon again with the heavy cream on top. I just used lemon mio and a little bit of real lemon with the same 275 yogurt and 20 grams of Quest protein powder. That's going to be my second meal of the day. 
Well, friends, my, this running crap is kicking my trash. I'll tell you what, Sarah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not up for this whole 10,000 steps a day thing. I don't know, maybe someday. It's just never been my thing and I'm trying. Anyway, I'm alive, sort of, but I can barely walk at this point and I'm about to have a yummy, yummy last meal of the day. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna have. The first thing I am having is baked chicken. So this is a five ounce chicken breast with one Swiss cheese slice and some ham inside and an ounce of Parmesan cheese baked on top. Dave made it for me. Dave also made me butter butternut squash soup. So this is 205 grams of butternut squash, 40 grams of onion. Um, I can't remember how much coconut milk, but I think it's like two ounces or three ounces of coconut milk. Also apple, he put apple in this, I think 40 grams of fresh apple and um, some carrot. I can't remember how much carrot. I gave him the macros for it and basically told him, blend this all up, make it a soup. So that is gonna be my delicious rest of my carbs for the day. And I can't wait to eat. Looks amazing. Thanks for hanging out with me guys. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Alrighty guys, it's Friday, it's 10.30 a.m. and I am having my first meal of the day because I'm having it before I get in the tub. It's a lemon kind of day. So I'm having my lemon sludge. It is 275 grams of 0% by a Greek yogurt with 20 grams of Quest vanilla shake powder mixed with lemonade mio and regular lemon extract with 25 grams of sugar-free whipped cream on top. Looks amazing. And then I'm having a lemon cheesecake bill bar. And that is gonna be my first meal of the day. I finished up my bath. I'm eating a little early, both this first and second, the first and second meals because, I don't know. I'm not sure if I planned that right, but I'm gonna be heading to the dance studio without a snack today because of that. But I really like to have a meal before I get in the bath. Anyway, so I'm having my second meal and this is where almost all of my carbs are coming in for the day except for my spaghetti squash for tonight. I am having pancakes. These are gluten-free protein pancakes. So basically I made them with 60 grams of Krusty's gluten-free butter, buttermilk pancake mix, one whole egg, and a third of an, a container of premier vanilla protein shake. So they're like high protein, high carb. Then I'm having 33 grams of center cut bacon and a built bar, also high protein, low carb. And that is going to be my first second meal of the day. Just realized I didn't mention that the syrup on top is 60 grams of sugar-free syrup from Great Value, Great Value brand, sugar-free syrup, no butter. All right guys, here I am at the dance studio with these girls. And I am having my one snack, my lone snack. I can only have this because <laughs> I ate all my other food at home. So this is what I'm having and that's okay with me because you know how I love these. And I'm here for two hours. So wish me luck. Yeah, they're watching a video. Alrighty, everyone, it's eight o'clock. I am home and I am about to have my final meal of the day. I am starving after eating earlier today and having to wait so long for dinner. Mm, hungry. Anyway, this is what I'm gonna have. It's Friday night, so I am having my spaghetti squash spaghetti. Tonight I am having 200 grams of spaghetti squash, topped by six ounces of 90-10 ground beef, two servings of Lucini marinara, and 40 grams of mozzarella cheese. And that is gonna be my last meal of the day. Happy Saturday, everyone. It is a beautiful morning. It's 11.30 in the morning, and it is actually pretty good weather today. Um, I just did all of my data, and I get to raise my calories again this week. Woohoo! So today is going to be a 2,000 calorie day. Tomorrow will also be 2,000 calories, and then I will move into my next phase of my diet reverse plan. So if you want more information about that, probably already talked about it in another video at this point, I'm guessing, because these usually come out after my updates. So go check out week 11 update, and I'll give you the information about that. Anyway, I am starting off my morning with Creo Brew. I have, um, I don't know if I've mentioned on this video, but I have affiliate link 
for these for Amazon in for this for Amazon in the about section below a lot of other things that I use as well but it is roasted cocoa beans it does not have caffeine in it it's like eating drinking hot chocolate chocolate water basically and I put protein shake in it and a little stevia then the rest of my meal for this morning is two farm fresh fried eggs, 44 grams of center cut bacon, and 150 grams of apples from my tree. Guys, this feels amazing that I have basically hand raised half this plate. I wish I had raised the pork too, but we're not allowed to have pigs here. Anyway, I'm looking forward to an awesome food day, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to like it and subscribe. Hey guys, four o'clock. Yes, I'm still in my pajamas. I promise I'm going to take a shower and do my videos for you though very, very soon. I've been super busy today. I've been helping the girls get their organized, get their laundry organized and stuff and trying to come up with a better laundry system. Anyway, not that you guys care, but I've been working all day. So it is four o'clock. I'm having my second meal of the day. I'm starting with another Creo brew. Same as before. Um, so the weekend, so I'm trying not to have a second bang. And then I am having my lemon. So this is my lemon yogurt with the protein powder in it. Lemon sludge, lemon protein yogurt, whatever you want to call it. And then I've got 150 grams of strawberries on top and the 24 grams of sugar-free whipped cream. Also three sugar-free jellos and a apple almond crisp built bar. That's going to be my second meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's Saturday. I got my videos made for you. Well, I got the one made. I didn't make the other one. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get it done, I promise. But you won't ever know anyways until you get it done anyway. So what's the point of even saying anything? Anyway, this is where my final meal is where most of my calories and my protein and like everything is coming in because I'm having a huge, delicious meal tonight. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna have. So I am having chicken legs. So Two of these are done with a keto Cajun spice that I am testing for a company. And these two are with our regular barbecue seasoning. So I'm going to compare them. But I've already tasted, you can see the dry spice. I've already tasted this spice. It's really good. So I will be probably telling you about it at some point. Then I'm having two pieces of corn. This is the rest of my carbs for the day. This is the one, I think the one carb that has tasted so good, it's worth coming back for more out of the, all the things I've tried. Then I have some sugar-free um barbecue sauce, G Hughes sweet and spicy that I'm going to use in case the rub is just not that great. And finally going to eat one of these. I have a whole bunch left in my fridge. I just never get them in my macros. Actually, Dave and my kids have eaten most of them. I think there's one left, but I think Dave's going to have it. So I'm going to have me a treat. And that is going to be my last meal of the day. Well, there you have it. Everything I ate this week in order to main my, maintain my level of 1771 calories, which is where I am on my reverse diet, it went super well. I actually ended up dropping 3.3 pounds in my average weight this week. So I am bumping calories up for next week to 1820. So do, don't forget to come back, subscribe so that you can tune in next week to see how it goes for me on my crazy reverse diet journey. This is a whole new world for me and I am excited about it because I finally feel like I might be getting a handle on this whole maintenance thing. Thank you so much for hanging out with me guys. We'll talk to you all again soon. Mm -hmm.